there's a big secret Apple doesn't tell you about the new iPhones, so stay tuned till the end to find out what that big secret is and what you should do about it. As somebody who does a lot of iPhone videography and photography, the iPhones got a mind-blowing update that's totally worth buying the new iPhone 13 Pro Max and 13 Pro. They're amazing, although watch out for this one pitfall that I'll be going over later. They have a huge upgrade to the camera system and to the lenses as someone who is passionate about iPhone, videography, and photography and films these YouTube videos on it and it's great for multimedia college students. They have Apple ProRes video codec recording and support. So that's amazing. That's Apple's professional codec that you would put in like Final Cut or Premiere Pro. And it's amazing. It has so much more depth of data, but they have cinematic video with focus pulling. Basically what cinematic video is, it follows the person around and then it focus pulls from one person to another, just like if you would have a professional DSLR or a mirrorless camera or cinema camera, at least from the demos I've seen, I'm super excited to try it out, but stay tuned for the full review. ProRes video support codec for the iPhone. So that means that ProRes is coming to the iPad, guys. I'm so excited. Which new iPhone should you get and which one should you stay away from? Well, for the iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max, if you get the 120 gigabyte one, which is the base model, you would think that the storage size wouldn't really matter. But if you get the 120 gigabyte one, it severely hampers your abilities to do stuff on that phone. So it takes your ability to do Apple ProRes, which was one of the main benefits of the iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max, and takes it all the way down to you can only film ProRes at 1080p 30 frames per second. So if you want 4K 60 frames per second ProRes, then you have to make sure you get more than that. But as a general rule, then that would probably be a good idea because Apple ProRes is a very hungry file codec in comparison to the lower, more compressed codecs that your standard iPhone uses, unless you're using Filmic Pro or something like that. Make sure you don't get the 128 gigabyte iPhone. Very sorry if you do. Prices start at $999 for the iPhone 13 Pro and $1,099 for the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Stay tuned because iPhone that I'm really excited about and I'm super excited to review it, the iPhone 13 Pro and iPhone 13 Pro Max. So they have a 20% smaller notch, but that's not important to me, but that seems to be important to other people on the internet. But it has ProMotion, which is 120 hertz adaptive refresh rate. So it can go all the way down to 24 hertz and all the way up to 120 hertz so it'll save you battery life but still is also great for productivity and makes everything super smooth and buttery and it has up to one terabyte of storage which is crazy that's great for iphone productivity and it starts at 128 gig which was what they had previously last year it would have been nice if they doubled that but they have four new color options which i think they look good although i'm a traditionalist i like the white and silver or white and stainless steel bezels on your iphone i think that one looks classic and clean like it if you liked it because it really does help and if you want more interesting ipad and iphone content check out one of these videos